Hey guys, Alex Khan here, and uh, today I'm on a adventure today. And if you haven't seen the title of the video yet, then you're probably wondering what am I looking for today? Well today, I'm looking for a very special bird. I'm gonna give you guys a hint. Here is the sound of this bird. Ah! Obviously that was the sound of the Florida scrub jay. And I'm pretty excited. We're gonna go to, um, where am I going to? Today's adventure takes us to the Canaveral National Seashore, as well as the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge in search of a threatened species of bird that can only be found in Florida, the Florida scrub jay. We're gonna check out this visitor center here. All right guys, I made a bit of a mistake. I'm at the Apollo Beach Visitor Center here. And I apparently entered the wrong uh, section of this um, national seashore. So yeah, I'm way up here at the Canaveral National Seashore Visitor Center. I need to go all the way down south to where that pencil mark is uh, circled right there. <laughs> it's apparently like an hour drive. If you're ever trying to find these uh, Florida scrub jays, don't go to the northern entrance. So I made it to the visitor center at Merritt Island. Um, a little bit of a ways, but they gave me another map. So yeah, here's the new map that I was given. Um, this is where I am. I'm gonna just go all the way down this road past the uh, the beach entrance. And she said, if the scrub jay is not there where they normally are, and that's where the other girl told me about, then take this road all the way back north. I think it's like 10 miles north and try this trail, Pine, Pine Flatwoods Trail. I have officially made it to the other entrance of the Canaveral National Seashore. See that sign back there? It says Scrub Jay Nesting Area. All right, here is that thing, the, the ticketing center. I already have my ticket from New Smyrna. Um, if I don't see anything here or on the other side there, then I'm gonna have to take that, um, that road about 10 miles north. Apparently that trail has a lot of um, Scrub Jay activity. Um, I hear a lot of birds, but I'm not hearing the sounds that I'm looking for. It could be anywhere here. There's all kinds of scrub. Hey guys, I know this is a really shaky, but that might be a scrub jay right there. He's on that tree. He's probably acting as the sentinel. Uh, be in lookout for the other um, scrub jays around, but I only see him. All right, you see that tree right there? Uh, there was a bird. Um, it wasn't black like the other ones over there. Um, but because of the angle, I'm not sure what color it was, but uh, I, I zoomed in with this thing and took some footage and I also took some, some pictures of it. Yeah, that tree right there is where that, that bird was and he has flown off. I am still in that area by the, uh, by the entrance. I look, I zoomed in and guess what? That was totally a scrub jay. You could kind of see that blue tint on it. Because of the atmospheric lighting from this angle, it's a little difficult to see the colors on this bird, but there is an undeniable blue tint on the feathers. And if you touch up the picture's brightness, saturation, and contrast, you can definitely see where the blue feathers are. Upon closer inspection of these pictures, I was really sad to see that this scrub jay was missing the toes on its right foot, but you can see how this bird has learned to use its body to keep it balanced on the branch. I'm pretty excited. After I zoomed in on my camera and saw that that was a Florida scrub jay, I got so excited. Um, I'm a little sad that I didn't quite recognize it at the time that I looked at it. I had a, had a suspicion though that it was a scrub jay. Um, but um, I'm gonna keep this video going. I'm gonna try to go to this uh, this Pine Flatwoods Trail, see if I can spot some more scrub jays to put in this video. Because honestly, that was like what five seconds worth of footage of the blue of the the scrub jay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, uh, the. Uh, the, the birding fan in, in me is, is nerding out right now that I got to finally see this thing. Oh, look at the name of that trail. The Scrub Ridge Trail. I probably should have went there. Parking. Okay. I'm the only one parking here. That's because I'm a winner. All right, guys, I'm gonna explore Pine Flatwoods Trail I have no idea how far I should be going to find these scrub jay. So my plan is to go in there, walk for about 45 minutes to an hour. If I don't see anything, I'm gonna come back this way. One small step for man, 
one giant leap for a burger. This is one of the few times you'll see me wearing a, wearing a hat, guys. Hope you like it. Um, anyway, see that, that burned piece of tree right there? Now, here's something um, that's pretty interesting. They actually do uh, burn sections you know, of the vegetation on purpose. Um, as far as scrub jays go, that's good for the scrub jays because scrub jays, they can't live in an area that, that just keeps growing and growing really high um, because scrub jay, they prefer to live in the, the low-lying um, areas where you know they could hop around and they have a good overview of, of what kind of predators are coming guys you're not gonna believe this there was a scrub jay right there he was bright and blue he, he's down there see him flying he's right there he just landed on that tree way down there i don't even know if i'm looking at the right area on my phone but he's right there let me try my my, my big camera i saw a freaking scrub jay right there and this time there was no doubt about that being a scrub jay because when it flew um, you can see it's big, bright blue feathers, and um, I tried to take some pictures of it, but I don't think I got it. Um, but I'm of the opinion that there can be scrub jays, uh, like, really close by. I just got to approach more cautiously, because that, that one right there, that was a sentinel, and he was definitely keeping an eye out on, you know, on, like, uh, you know, bigger animals coming to, uh, to threaten them. So, I might, oh, there's one right there. Right there. Oh my God. Hey guys, there are several scrub jays around here. Here's the most easy, you just want to see right there. You see him? That is, oh, there's another one right there. Do you see it? Oh. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I, hold on, let me see if I can zoom in here. Oh, he just flew down. Yeah, that, that, that's a scrub jay sound. Do you hear that? Oh my gosh. They're just right there, guys. And there's quite a few of them too. Um, but yeah, they keep flying back and forth from here to, to up there. So there's definitely some, some activity going on here. Just gotta be patient and uh, watch these scrub jays. Oh, do you see that? They're right there. They're hopping around in that tree. I'm not sure if that's um, easy to see on video, but I can see them right now, but just barely. You can hear them going. Yeah, so they're kind of just chilling right there. Uh, I'm gonna take a little breather. Uh, maybe they'll fly behind me. The cool thing about the scrub jay is that they're really intelligent. They, they they probably know I'm not a threat at this point. But yeah, they're they're really intelligent. Oh, it's right there. Do you see it behind me? It's right there. I'm try, I'm try to take a picture. He just took a dump. Seriously though, this place is hopping for freaking uh, scrub jays. But yeah, yeah, one of them just flew out right in the open and then it, it jumped back in. I'm hoping he comes back out so I can get it on, on video. Just gotta be a little patient. But they must be hungry, you know, they see me, but they're still, you know, coming out to maybe look for food, maybe. Um, but it, it's, uh, it's kind of sad that these scrub jays are considered a threatened, so there aren't many of them though. And I, I bet you anything, those scrub jay in front of me are probably tagged on their feet. Oh, 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 did you see it? Did you see it? Oh, and he's back on that tree. See him? Right there. That's where he was earlier. See him? And, and that's, you know, the sentinel. He's, uh on the lookout for other animals. And I guess the other two are hanging out. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm, I'm seeing this. Now, I knew it'd be difficult to photograph these scrub jays in the bushes, but I took several shots of them regardless. If you look closely, you can barely see two of them hanging out behind the leaves in this picture. Because I barely got any shots of the scrub jays on this trip, I included all of my pictures here, even though they're a little blurry. 
In the tall tree next to the bushes, that's where their designated sentinel bird was standing guard from the high ground. I was so incredibly lucky to stumble upon these three Florida scrub jays. They were only there for a duration of five minutes before they took off. There were so many factors that could have caused me to miss these scrub jays at this specific location on this trail. All right, so they were over here and then two of them flew that way. They might be done in this area. Maybe they've had enough of me. I hear some machine out in the distance, but yeah. Um, once you hear that sound of the scrub jay, it's, it's hard to forget. And it's gonna be hard to hear them now that that construction vehicle is right there. Do you see it? So that thing might be scaring them away too. I don't know. But I I'm gonna walk maybe a mile uh, this way. And then I'll come back and see if the scrub jays are still in that area back there. You know, I wasn't gonna film this, but these ants are everywhere. You know, these little uh, encampments. Oh, look at this curious piece of nature right here. Wonder why this area was marked. Maybe there, there's some buried treasure around here. I don't know. Oh, guys, uh, new game plan. I can actually go back there. There's a the trail here. Because that's the general area where the, the scrub jays flew. So let's uh, let's go back over there. Yeah, I was gonna walk like a mile or two miles that way, but um, I want to go where the freaking scrub jays are, guys. Or at least where I, I saw them go. All right. I hear scratchy bird sounds. I have no idea which way they're coming from, but they might be those freaking. Scrub jays I was looking at earlier. It's kind of hard because, you know, uh, when you make a sound that loud, it, it could travel anywhere and it could, it could sound like it's coming from one direction, but it's coming from a different direction. It might be about time to start turning back. Because you know what to say, an army marches on its stomach. I am getting past that point where I'm too freaking hungry to just ignore how hungry I am. Yep, so I'm back to that area where the uh, scrub jays were. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was all of them. I'm not gonna say come here and you'll see the, uh, the scrub jays, but on this day in April 2022, I saw three scrub jay here. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I managed to catch some pretty good shots of the scrub jay. Not many, but, but I caught quite a few. Like this first one, that's when I entered um, you know, past that that uh, that toll station, um, I just parked off to the side, and I saw that one scrub jay for like five, ten seconds. Got a picture, found out later it was a scrub jay, and then um, I went up north for about ten miles, and then um, this is where I caught some of those uh, scrub jays out in the wild. Um, you know, while I was hiking, and uh, I caught some in those trees here, in those bushes, and these these ones came out really uh, really vibrant. So uh, I, I am super excited about today's uh, birding adventure. I, I can't say that I was disappointed. Like, even though I didn't get that much footage of them, I, I got some. And considering just how rare this bird is, I, I was excited to get even just those shots. But I might do another trip where I go, go north and try Ocala. So um, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, um, I meant to make like a like a, a fun video, like a funny video. But yeah, once I saw the scrub jay, I got all serious. But I was just too excited to be to be funny. <laughs>